Okay, I've got six racers running now. Uh, so I don't really know which one I'm gonna choose. So I just lay them here and I'm gonna use a dice. Take it from one, two, three, four, five, or six. Let's see which one it will be. It will be number three. And the winner is, this is my customized, this is a Mule, Mule comb with a handle from uh, a slowly racer. Okay, this one it will be. Hello everybody, it's Sunday, Sunday evening, and I, I wish I could do this review in New Zealand, but my thought, I thought I would do three reviews in New Zealand, but the weather wasn't so good. Uh, one day when I had to have a shave, it was too windy, so my uh, microphone in the camera couldn't take it. And the other day, it was actually a little bit... Uh, it was raining, actually, a little bit. So I'll do this review at home in Sweden, Skogos. Now, now I'm at home. But I'm gonna do a review of a New Zealand shave soap. It's from the Dirty Hippie. Goodbye. And it's a beer and clay smoothie set. You can use it as a uh, regular bar soap as well if you want to. Uh, it's a small scent of perfume here, but not much. So, let's see how this will work. Uh, it's uh, vegan and everything, and paraben free, and, and uh, the label, they only use uh, as little paper as they can. So, if you're ordering more than one, they will only label one soap, because they will they, they, they don't want to use too much paper. They are really into the environment. And the funny thing is that they are making these products, the Dirty Hippie products, in a town called Waipu in New Zealand. And I was there when I was in New Zealand. And they had a lovely beach, which was called uh, Forestry Beach. It's a lovely little village and we also went to a uh, old um, classic car meeting there. And it was sunny and so many old cars and oh, we had a great time. Really. Uh, so I'm gonna try this uh, New Zealand shaving soap. So I found, uh, I bought two. I found two and I bought two there. Uh, okay, I'm gonna rinse a little bit now. And then I will uh, try to lather up. Let's see how it will work. Nu är vi på ja, den, den absolut längsta stranden som jag och Lotta var på alla fall. Waipu. I Waipu. Eh, Langs Beach heter den. Kan pröva att zooma lite grann. Vi har precis badat faktiskt. Vi är på bilutställning i Waipu. Och det är bara gamla goa jänkar och andra modeller. Hur coola bilar som helst. Åh, kolla den där. Ja. Kan inte du ställa dig bredvid den för att ta kort för? I think I'm going to do like I used to do. Rub some of it on my bristles and then try to lather up with the brush. As you saw in the beginning here, I got six different races running. Uh, 
that's how it is. I want to try this one today. Let's make a review of this one another day. So I used my uh, dice, as you could see, <laughs> and it was the Mule Comb with a slowly handle. And it's a shark blade in this one. I think it could be the fourth use or the third use of the shark blade. So maybe it's a little bit dull, but I'll just change razor. Uh, the main thing is the Dirty Hippie shaving soap that I will try now. I'm gonna use my V-Long horsehair brush. Let's see if I can get some leather out of it. Um, many soap bars, shaving soap bars. They've got the problem, they the ladder disappear. So um, let's see how it will be with this one. Okay. It feels quite thick for being a shaving soap bar and the leather as well as you can see not so light it's creamy it is I haven't had a shave in two or three days I think Think of this, huh? Doesn't it look quite good? I think it is. I think it does. Yeah, Vaipu, a lovely little village. It was. Uh, and that beach, uh, forestry beach in Vaipu, uh, it was very much the environment all around was forests <laughs> and lots of pine trees so it looked very much like uh, Denmark uh, it was my daughter's fiance's parents who took us there because they live in Kaiwaku not long from there okay here we go And not far from there, further down, I think actually we were in, was that also Vaipu? No, I think it was uh, nearer to Auckland, we came to a beach which is called Lang's Beach. Oh, that. <laughs> Breathtaking. What a beach. Well, New Zealand really was something special. I don't know about this shark blade. It doesn't feel dull, it doesn't tug, but I, want, I, don't, I don't think it's so effective. Oh, I've been looking at soccer European qualification and Denmark got humiliated by Kazakhstan. In Kazakhstan, they were the better team. They won against Denmark. Three to. Mm. They will. It disappears a little bit, the shape so, but it's okay. And it feels lubricating that it is lubricating well. Did you get a nick there? No. I think I'm gonna do like I did the first pass. 
I'm gonna rub some more soap on my face. Like this. And I'm gonna use the brush as well. So how are you doing guys? For those of you who live in Europe and Scandinavia, we're waiting for the spring, don't we? Maybe in Southern Europe it's already warm. Here in Scandinavia the snow is back. I hope it will disappear before Easter. More water. Mm. Feels good. It does. Well, it's not the Taylor of Old Bond Street soap, but it works well, I think. Let's see about this second pass if the shark blade can. take the rest of it or do I have to do a third pass I hope not I hope not I was looking at birds when I was uh, in New Zealand and maybe most of you are not into birds but I really would like to show you one bird that I saw uh, I can tell you about uh, this um, Logo Dirty Hippie has. This bird here is the New Zealand fan tail, and I saw those nice little birds, and they were not afraid, they were just one, two meter ahead of you. And then I saw this one, Pete Stilt. That one made me really happy. I saw it down in uh, Blackpool Beach. All together I saw, I'm gonna, it's too high volume, the, there's news now, wait a minute. No, shark blade. Uh, well, I was talking about the birds. All together, when I was in Waiheke, New Zealand, and in Auckland, I saw 26 different species of birds that I have never seen before. You got that New Zealand doctor well? Uh, well, that bird is not afraid of anything, and that's not good. Therefore, it's threatened. It's a threatened species because it's not afraid of anything. Yeah. Now you can hear the Danish news talking about Russia, talking about garbage in Denmark. Oh, where's the shave, so shave soap? Oh. It disappeared. Well, as I said before, many bars, shaving soap bars, got that problem, I think. It disappears. Although, although this was a good shave. Uh, the only thing about this shave that was not so good 
it's a shark blade in this one so I have to do some adjustments some small adjustments a little more a little more leather <clears throat> We uh, visited Auckland as well, me and my wife, and uh, well, maybe there's someone out there who lives in Auckland, uh, who loves the city of Auckland, and uh, well, maybe you'll be angry with me, but I have to say Auckland is one of the dullest cities I've ever visited. I like a little bit of old architecture and a little bit of history. But I think Auckland, all you could see was buildings made of steel and glass. It was just like they had torn everything down that was old and... I didn't get any feeling when I was there in Auckland. But it didn't matter. The nature in New Zealand, Waiheke and uh, Wangarai, Waipu, and in the inland was stunning. It was so well. As I said before, we're waiting for the spring in Sweden, and the spring in Sweden can also be stunning. Actually, I'm gonna rinse now, and I had me a, a good shave, yeah. And I think the shave soap works okay, it does. Oh, how did I shave that? It works okay, and it was fun, uh, fun to find another uh, New Zealand product. Okay, now I'm gonna rinse. Um, I found me another product as well in uh, when I was in New Zealand. This in, is an Australian product. I'm I'm quite sure it's from Australia. Hydration balm for guys with no hair. Suits me perfect. <laughs> um, well, it's it's quite good. It's quite good to your scalp. Yeah, so I've been using it ever since I bought it in New Zealand. Uh, quite a lot. They get it on their supermarket stores, which are called uh, Countdown. That's the biggest uh, supermarket stores uh, in New Zealand, I think. Countdown stores was everywhere. Uh, let's finish off with some L'Oreal Hydra Energetic. Multi action aftershave balm. My skin feels very well, and I, when I was rinsing, I really felt that the soap is very good when it comes to lubricate. I have to rinse quite a lot to get rid of that. You know, that lubrication that still can be there that makes it glides that makes it work good ah. damn it the shark blade ah uh, well I can have some aftershave I'm gonna have this one Co 2411 Torino aftershave Mastro Miche. If I can open it. I'm gonna go to bed soon, so I'm not gonna have so much on me. Well, thank you for being with me. Uh, yeah, I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye, everybody.
听